And hey, what's up? This is Medieval Dynasty, and today we are going to become the heir. So we're going to switch over to the heir, and I'm going to show you exactly what happens um, and with the, with this process. So you got to talk to your kid, and that's my kid right there. And I'm going to switch to him and become him, and then uh, see what happens. We're going to take over. This is the like you know the uh, pivotal moment in your uh, dynasty, changing your dynasty over to your kid, and we can check out the stats right here. Okay, our skills are all maxed out at 10 uh, we'll go over to the management and we'll check him out on his age let's see is this going down that's going down there you go I don't like the controls here which would also be better uh, but here he is Xander right there first kid 18 there's his stats he's got 10 10 and 666 uh, and seven there so th those are the stats right there for his skills and uh, let's get going let's check out our inventory first because it's what's going to happen to our inventory so this is our inventory we're all geared out um, and we have where's our coins we have almost a million dollars in coins let's see what happens to all this uh, loot and all that kind of stuff when we switch over so all you gotta do is you talk to him and there's the option right there so yeah you care, care for him long enough and we are going to uh change over he's tired of leadership so let's go there and it's permanent you can't change back and we are changed and that is it that is that's the whole fanfare uh there is a there he is right there there's your character Right there, he switched over. You can talk to him and you can take a closer look. Hey, let me take a closer look at you. There we go. And yeah, he's all tense and what he had, he is back to a regular guy on the inventory screen. I mean, the management screen right here. Well, let's go back to the management screen. Uh, yeah, the management screen, there's no funny icons for them anymore or your wife, there are that they are NPCs. Uh, the one little thing test that I do not know about is will they have another baby? Now that they're regular NPCs, will they have a second child? That is the last question and I don't know that one because that would take a lot more time to actually do that. And I don't know if I'm going to go through that, but let's check out the stats. So here we go on the stats. And we have the, what we had in there. Six, seven, six, that should be ten, and six, and eight. Oh no, 10. <laughs> 18 is the skill points. Yeah, but now you just can repick your skills and what you have, and you have to level up again. Inventory is the same. So you have all your inventory, everything is the same. You just change your character over with the different skills, and that is it. So you keep all your inventory, and you just gotta redo your skills. So it's probably better to have this your, your kid trained up even higher than what it is right now, especially on the skills that are a pain, like extraction to level up. Uh, some of these are a pain if you unless you want to use a little you know tricks and stuff like that to level them up but yeah you should probably just have them there and uh, train up some more and that is the end of it so that's the simple small video and that's what happens when you become the heir and i don't like the morning light of the fresh morning and spring it's a little bit too bright for me just like winter time but yeah oh we can check out the uh how much gold i have how much gold did i rake up on here two almost oh, like 210k is also in there. So all this AFKing and just doing stuff, I raked up this. Uh, one last note before we sign off here is the Builder's Hut. I built that one. Uh, I, had, I destroyed a house to build a Builder's Hut. Yeah, it's under services. Uh, and the Builder's Hut, I haven't built one before and they aren't really worth building. You have to go in here after you put a guy in here and then you have to manually tell them to repair each building. So they don't repair stuff automatically. They don't do anything else. He's gonna repair it automatically and this goes pretty fast. So uh, you, you put this guy in here and he'll be done before the half of the day with all this stuff right here we can take it off right here and just while i'm talking here we can see how much time goes by and how much repairs are going to be done for the day and then you basically it's more management you gotta switch them you gotta take them off and put them back somewhere else basically after the next day if you want to maximize your production if you leave him on here he doesn't do anything else he's not going to fix all these other buildings we can check the houses here they're all basically the where they were at before so he's not going to put these things up to 100 or or repair them that would have been a cool idea to do is some of these buildings that aren't broken are pretty low on their durability on their condition here and that would have been good if they would have done that and had the durability go up slowly and he could do that after he did the priority of actually fixing the actual houses and um let's get out the houses and back down to there builder's hut we had whole bunch of things and they're all repairing at the same time right here and you see the bar is already 
just just a little bit of time and that bar is already you know at least 10 15 percent done for repairing stuff but you don't have to do it it's just management and then you have to go back and do management stuff so that's more stuff for you to do you can't just afk it and have them fix it which would be nice uh, to do and yeah as soon as I update some more games so this is my last video for a while um, the next video I will I'll, uh, will be an update video and in that update video I will uh, ask, I will probably get done uh, having uh, enough time go by to test see if the character will actually have another baby uh, or not so that would be the only interesting to find out that I'm not sure of would be to have that happen and so that is it for now. Just change it to air. That's all that happens. You just change it there. You still get to live in your house. It's still your house and your parents are living it. So you're just living with your parents and that is that. And you get the skills that, uh, that your kid had. So if your kid is really weak on your skills and you got, you went and had him early and he's all in threes, you're going to have to, you know, uh, level up yourself manually all over again to, with all your skills. And some of them like production might be really annoying to level up and extraction was pain but yeah extraction you can always uh, just watch all the rest of my other videos I explain how to level up all these skills uh, quickly and easily and uh, well the best that you can do at least but yeah everything else is explained so this is done so thanks for watching and I will see you next update